Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Amber Sharnice. And in today's video, we are going to talk about the YouTube algorithm. Number one, how does it work? And number two, how can you beat the algorithm? So if you're interested in those topics, be sure to stay tuned because we're going to discuss all the deets in today's video. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, again, my name is Amber Sharnice. And here on this channel, we talk about all things content creator growth, tips and tricks, all things to pretty much help you grow as a content creator here on YouTube and at other platforms. If that's what you're looking for here on YouTube, I definitely suggest that you binge watch my videos. And if you like what you see, make sure that you press the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so that you're notified every time I post a new video and you will not miss an upload from me. So let's talk about exactly what the YouTube algorithm is, um, what it does, what does that mean for your channel? What does that mean for the videos that you're pushing out? So YouTube is particularly set up to match videos to the viewers, right? And their interests. So this pretty much means that let's just say for instance, the night prior, the night before you were up all night and you were watching police pursuit videos and you woke up the next morning and you decided to go into YouTube to um, search for something else. You realize your homepage was filled with police pursuits. So this means that YouTube collects all the data that a viewer is watching. It's collecting all of your interests and the things that you like to watch to create your homepage and make you watch the content that pops up. So if they know that you like to watch Police Pursuits, they're going to put that up in your watch next on your homepage. After you finish watching one video, you may see that the next video popping up is a Police Pursuit video. So YouTube is trying to study what the viewers want to see to make them stay on the platform longer. So of course, they're going to give you exactly what you're looking for so for you as a creator what does this mean for you if you are creating videos that viewers want to see YouTube is going to definitely try to push those videos out so that those particular people can see them. Once the video succeeds with your own following, YouTube continues to recommend and push those videos out to people who aren't even subscribed to the channel in hopes to get more viewers to stay on your channel longer and watch your videos longer and hopefully, of course, become subscribers of yours. And this is why I say that it's super important to actually post things that you want to post. Um, that you're passionate about. If you're already posting things that you want to post and one of those videos take off, it's not going to be such a headache for you to create more and more and more of that content. So now that I've kind of explained to you all how the YouTube algorithm works, the next question would be, how can I make the YouTube algorithm work for me? Um, how can I work with the YouTube algorithm to boost views on my channel or to grow my channel or, or just plain old how to beat the YouTube algorithm. So let's take a quick dive into that. The way that you want to do this is to really focus on your analytics. So you definitely want to make sure that you are reviewing the analytics for every single video that you're posting. The reason why you want to do this is because you need to know what people are liking and not liking. So let me tell you the things that you should be checking for um, when you're doing this. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and look at this um, Amazon home video that I have over on my vlog channel, which is Amber Sharnice TV. So right now we are looking at the overall analytics for this video. We want to figure out how our viewers finding our video. So this is going to tell me exactly how people are coming in where they're coming from so as you can see here i am getting a lot of viewership from the youtube browse features and if you're curious about what view the youtube browse features are it is the home page screen um the subscription feed and other browsing features so this means that whatever video that i'm talking about it is a wide or popular popularly searched video that is popping up on people's home pages. It shows that 16% of my viewer of my views come from suggested videos. So this appears alongside or after a video that someone else is watching. So this could be after you've watched one of my own videos and you see it pop up on the end screen telling you to watch this video next, or it could also be um, over on someone else's channel who has a similar video and YouTube is trying to recommend to this next person something that's similar to make people stay on YouTube for as long as possible. So because my topic relates to whatever it is that they're searching for and whatever that last video that they watch it, YouTube is now going to recommend that they watch my video. Another way, a uh, large way that people are seeking my content or stumbling upon my content is by my search terms. 
um, which pretty much means that people are typing something that I've gotten in my meta metadata, which is my title tags and description. And they're finding this through just searching into YouTube. So not only are these people finding me here on YouTube, but they are also finding me through Google search. So this is why you want to always make sure that your video titles and your tags are searchable. So let's say, uh, you have the best macaroni and cheese recipe in the world. Um, instead of titling your video, the best macaroni and cheese in the world, you should be putting how to make the best macaroni and cheese, because that's how someone is going to type that into a Google search engine or to a Google, a YouTube.com. Um, another thing I want to point out to you all is about the posting process and the YouTube algorithm and the way it works when you're posting content. Let's say you're posting a video for the first two hours that video is posted. YouTube is doing is Dying, okay you post your video and it's doing very well you're getting lots of views you're getting lots of retention which means that people are staying on the channel and actually watching this video once your once youtube recognizes hey this amount of people um that we've you know that she's posted her video her followers are really liking they're really engaging with this video let's go ahead and push it out to some more people and let's see if they like the video so then it goes into this next pot and those people are eating the video up as well. So then YouTube says, let's take it to this next pot and let's see what it does. And then they realize that it continues to give a pattern of people are engaging and liking that content. They're going to continue to promote those videos by putting them in the watch page or the home page or the watch next, you know, categories. So it's really, really important that you start your videos off super, super duper strong and that those first two hours of that video being posted you are promoting that video like crazy what i mean by that is you're posting on your instagram you're posting on your tiktok and you and your youtube shorts and your twitter and your snapchat whatever um social media outlets that you can use that's going to allow you to promote your video you definitely want to make sure that you do that so that you can continue to get as much traction as you can possibly get within the first two hours once you've gotten so much traction within that time it's really easy for that video to continue growing because youtube is now deemed this video as something that people are wanting to watch is keeping the people on my platform longer to earn youtube more money therefore it's going to work out better for you if you are looking for ways to grow your YouTube channel in 2023, you guys, I have created a course that is going to give you everything that you need to know, everything that you need to be doing in 2023 so far that has really been helping most YouTubers grow their platforms. It is an awesome tool because if you're really just starting out YouTube, this is going to get you so far ahead of the people that started YouTube but hadn't really had the time to dedicate research and time to it and things like that you're going to be pushed so far ahead by utilizing all these tips and tricks and even for people that are not new to youtube that has been uploading for a while but you just really haven't figured out the secret sauce this particular course is really going to help you get exactly where you're trying to go i compressed all this information into one course for you so if you're interested definitely check the link in the description box below i do have it listed there as well as a free content planner and youtube calendar in our next video we're going to talk about niching this is something that most people once they've gotten their channel started or they're starting their channel they're still fighting with honey trust me i fought with niching several times okay so we're going to talk about in 2023 is it necessary to niche your channel um is niche going to be able to help you succeed and help you grow we're going to talk about all of that in our next video so make sure that you stay tuned if you want to catch that video turn on your post notifications make sure you subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified exactly when i post that video don't forget to like this video and leave any questions or comments that you have in the description box below i truly hope this video helped someone out there get some more information about the youtube algorithm and hopefully with this knowledge you are able to beat the youtube algorithm thank you again for tuning into my channel it's amber Sharn and if you'd like to see more of me, definitely head over to my vlog channel, Amber Shani CV, and I'll see you there. Peace.